What's happening guys? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick and on this channel I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. So if you like those topics, be sure to like and subscribe. Today's video we are going to be looking at Solana and the entire Solana DeFi ecosystem. I'll go through everything that you need to get started with yield farming on Solana. If you're not familiar with Solana, Solana boasts some of the highest transactions per second of any blockchain, along with extremely low fees, sometimes a tenth, even a hundredth of a cent. Additionally, Solana uh, gained a lot of popularity because it's backed by Sam Bankman Fried, founder of the XT FTX exchange and Alameda Research, so a huge name in the cryptocurrency space. This, uh, this high TPS and low fees makes Solana ideal for things like games, NFTs, microtransactions, uh, and it really any sort of app where people might be needing to make a lot of small transactions and paying a $5 or even a $1 or 50 cent fee isn't realistic. So you can see why a lot of people like it, uh, and it's just absolutely blown up, gone on a meteoric rise the past three weeks. So... Uh, if we zoom out a little to see the entire year, you can see that back at the start of the year, it was something like like a dollar, maybe. I can't even uh, can't even uh, get my mouse over there. But e even just last month, it was in the 40s, and that was had come up a lot. And then the past few weeks, it's just absolutely exploded. And a lot of this is because people are hearing about NFTs on Ethereum. They decide they want to get involved, and then they go to mint an NFT and find out that sometimes it's $50, $100 in gas fees, and to 99% of people, that's just unrealistic. I mean, mo consider, I'm in the United States. Most Americans don't have $1,000 in their bank account. They're not spending $100 to mint an NFT. So in order to have mainstream adoption of NFTs and games, you need to have a network like Solana with uh, with with extremely low transaction fees. So it's totally blown up. Uh, and before I go forward, I just want to highlight that I'm personally not buying right here. Uh, nothing I, I say in this channel is financial advice, but when I see a rise like this where it's doubled from 70 to 140 and it already is at a $40 billion market cap, uh, perhaps this will keep going further, but... Uh, I'm not selling this Solana, I have either, but, but I'm not buying anything right here. just want to get that out of the way so that people uh, don't think I'm advising that you potentially buy it at the top here. Now that that's out of the way, let's continue talking about Solana. Uh, another bullish thing coming up is that they have their Ignition Hackathon, which has $5 million of prizes for uh, developers who are building innovative apps on Solana. So $5 million is relatively conservative in the cryptocurrency space, but perhaps if deployed effecti effectively, this could really jumpstart the Solana ecosystem. And you can see that they highlight some uses of Solana DeFi, apps, games, Web3 products, art projects, collectibles, and more. So uh, very, very cool, and hopefully this gets some more interesting new apps going on Solana. Because since the transactions per second is so low, you can do a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to do on Ethereum. With that, let's jump into everything that you need to start yield farming on Solana. First thing you'll need is a Solana-compatible wallet. You cannot use MetaMask on Solana. There's a few good options, one of which is Solet, S-O-L-L-E-T-T. -T. But my personal favorite is the Phantom wallet. That's Phantom spelled with a P-H not to be confused with Phantom, the cryptocurrency spelled with an F. So this is the Phantom wallet, and you can add it to Chrome, you can add it to Brave. Their website is phantom.app, and this will just appear at the top of your browser like your MetaMask wallet, and you can send funds, approve transactions, see your history, etc. up there. You can buy Solana to populate your wallet uh, at a number of major exchanges, including Coinbase, Binance, and FTX. Interestingly, uh, I don't think it's on KuCoin yet, for whatever reason. Actually, you know what? I think they did just add it to KuCoin, so so that's incorrect. It's on that, too. Um, next up, we have Radium. So 
once you've once you've uh, populated your wallet with Solana, you'll probably want to swap it for some other tokens. And Radium is by far the largest DeFi project and the largest DEX on Solana. Uh, by the way, let's stop for, for a second to appreciate just the aesthetics of this. A lot of the apps on Solana have this cool three-dimensional artwork, um, synthwave type aesthetics, and uh, personally, I'm down for it. But anyways, this is Radium. Uh, you can see they've got $1.5 billion locked. They've got $11.5 billion of trading volumes. So this is a pretty sizable DeFi project. Uh, and then when you jump into the app, so it's just radium.io slash swap, or radium.io will bring you to that page we were on a second ago. Uh, you can see that this looks uh, pretty similar to any other swap. You have Ray, their native token, and then you can see all of the tokens on the Solana network. You have some sort of wrapped BTC, you have Sol, you have Cope, it's very popular. Uh, there's a lot of them. FTT, that's the FTX exchange token. Um, lots of great stuff. So this is the DEX. They also have a trading tool. So dex.radium.io. We're not going to go through this in this video because this isn't necessarily for yield farming, but perhaps you want to use this for trading. And because, because of the high throughput of Solana, it's easier to have an uh, or order book based DEX built on Solana. Close out of that. And uh, yeah, so that's the swap feature. They also have liquidity and pools. Um, and then they have farms. So here you can uh, create uh, liquidity tokens over in the liquidity section, and then you can deposit them here. And uh, these APRs are not, uh, they're not the most insane, but they're still, still pretty decent. So for example, radium soul 51%. Radium USDT, 110%, and so on. And there's some that are higher. Uh, so this would be the first place you go, and you could you could uh, get some decent rewards just by using this. Uh, by the way, I'll call out that in the farms they have divided between Radium farms and these, you exclusively earn Ray as the token reward. That's the Radium token. And then they have the Fusion rewards. In this case, you earn a mixture of Radium and another token. So here, or sometimes you just earn another token besides Radium. So for example, uh, the Polis, I'm not familiar with the Polis project, but Polis and Ray, you would earn both of their tokens and it would combine to give you 365% APR. What a beautiful APR, because that's just 1% a day. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what the fusion pools are. And again, to provide liquidity, you would just go here to the liquidity section. If you go to the pool section, you can also see that there are some pools that you won't be able to farm, but that have decent APRs. So I think most of these are, are on farms, but some of them likely aren't, and you can see that, that you may want to get rewards from this. Uh, if you do go this route, then providing liquidity is similar to, uh, to any other exchange. However, one thing that's unique about Radium is that once you create the LP tokens, unless you're depositing it depositing it in a farm. You won't deposit it anywhere. You'll just hold it in your wallet and it will accrue rewards on its own without you needing to deposit it anywhere or claim anything. When I first tried that out, I was confused. I went into the Radium Discord and I said, uh, you know, how do I do this? I'm missing something. And they say, you, you don't need to deposit it anywhere. You just keep it in your wallet. So uh, hopefully no one else makes that mistake. So that is Radium, largest DeFi project largest DEX, solid farm choice on Solana. After you check out Radium, you may want to check out Soul Farm, which is a Solana yield aggregator, and also a place where you can do leveraged farming. So here, for example, you can see that if we go to vaults, these are all the different vaults they have, and they have some from Sabre, which we'll go through next, Let's see if we sort by APR, we can see that they also have them from Radium. So here you can see, you can see the uh, farm from, from different places. And uh, here, I believe you, you will earn additional tulip rewards for some of these. So this, this, is, this is a pretty nice yield aggregator, pretty nice tool. That way, if you're 
farming in multiple places. Saber or radium are the main two. You can keep track of them all here. They also have a lending function, so you can lend out your tokens. So you can lend out radium and earn 49.24% APY. And this utilization over here just means that, well, as it says, once it gets to 95%, borrowing will be disabled. So you can even loan out stable coins here. You could loan out USTC and get 21%, not bad. Finally, they have a leveraged farming uh, tool. So here, that Atlas USDC project, which keeps popping up at the top of APYs, here you can see that you're actually farming it with 3x leverage, or I guess we can 3x is the maximum. It looks like it won't let us go higher than that. But here, your uh, APR, because you're farming with leverage, would be closer to 1,100%, 3% a day. You got to be really careful with any of these things. If the price of this drops, you could get you could get wrecked. Uh, you could get liquidated. So be very careful. However, if you want to really make a risky play, you know, go complete degen status. I mean, look at this Atlas Ray, 1.02 million percent APR. Uh, wow, yeah, 1.08 million. That that is just that is just wild. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to maintain that for a full year. That would be just ridiculous, but um, and, and and there is there is uh, some sort of interest on here. So 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 th there's there's a number a number of risks with the with the leverage farming. It's not like it's free money, but this is another place that you could you could uh, go to to find high yields if you want to. Final tool that we'll look at on Solana is Saber. So Saber is sort of like Curve, and uh, basically it's a place to swap stable coins. So once you've taken your profit, once you've decided you want to cash out, then you can go over to Saber. And if you look at the farms on here, you can see, so stable coins. Also, maybe you decide you want to take profits into BTC or into Sol. So here you have modest yields on uh, relatively safe pairs with no impermanent loss. So you could do USDT, USDC, you could do UST, USDC, uh, wrapped FTT, FTT, and so on. Lots of good options. They've got a lot of these stable coins. Heck, I've never heard of Pi. Um, looks like this stable coin has 26%. These BTC pairs have 30%. So this, these stable coins, you can actually get close to 40%. So, uh, you know, these are these are potentially gems, uh, gems farms. If you have some stable coins you want to farm, you could bring it over to Saber. That's Saber.so. Not sure what so means, but Saber.so uh, or App.Saber.so, and this is where you can uh, get your pegged asset farming on. Final tool that I will call out on Solana. This is not really a tool on Solana. This is a tool for any chain defilama.com slash chain slash Solana. And here you can see a fairly comprehensive, not 100%, but fairly comprehensive list of all of the DeFi projects on Solana. And you can see total TVL is just over 4 billion, just big milestone today. And uh, you can see all the projects. So Radium, again, the largest, Sabre, second largest, uh, and you can just go down, and it's got things all the way down to well, Serum Swap's been deprecated, so so uh, you probably don't want to go into that. You might put money in Serum, but but Serum Swap's been deprecated. But uh, all the way down to 3.6 million, all the way down to 6 million. So so it's got a huge range of projects in terms of size. And once you've tried out Radium, once you've tried out Soul Farm, maybe you've tried out Saber. Uh, maybe you want to look at some some plays that are a little bit smaller, or a little bit more uh, degen, as they say, and and this is going to be your place to find a lot of them. I know a lot of people love mango markets. I've heard people talk about oxygen. Uh, I'm not familiar with all of these, but I'll be looking at some of them in future videos. This is a great place to get leads that you can use to do your own research, though. So that's all I have for today. Hopefully, some of you found that useful and decide that uh, perhaps you want to check out yield farming on Solana. Uh, let me know if you 
are going to try this out if you are still bullish on Solana and if there's any other tools that you're using to farm on the Solana ecosystem. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.